Hey guys, Vinay from Excel Champ. Today, I want to show you how quickly you can make a mini dashboard to analyze your inventory. So here, you can choose any product. There is a drop down list here. And whenever we choose keyboard, you can immediately see the total quantity of keyboard, the number of locations, the average quantity, the minimum stock and the maximum stock in any location. Now, this dashboard only took me less than 10 minutes to create. I'm going to help you and see how to create this awesome data analysis tool which can help you to analyze your inventory and it only takes about 10-15 minutes at max. So let's get started and play with this awesome tool. So to get started on this, we will open our file, the raw data file, city products inventory. And as uh, you can see here, we have the name of the store, Paris, London, New York, Tokyo, Singapore. We have the products and the quantity on hand. And it's not a lot of data. We just have a few rows, about 30 rows or so. And we will see how to quickly make a simple dashboard from this. So the very first thing we will do is to create range names. By creating range names, we don't have to uh, reference the cells by their absolute addresses. This creates better and simpler formulas. So it's pretty easy to do. So we just press Ctrl A to select all the data, go to formula and then here we have the name manager and the define names area. We will simply click create from selection and we will only choose the top row because that's the unique column names. Simply click OK and the range names are created. We can see here product refers to the entire product column but not the heading. Similarly, quantity refers to the total quantity here and the store refers to all the store cells. By doing this, it is simpler and you will see the beauty right now. So very first thing we will do, we will simply create a heading here. Inventory analysis for computer shop. And that's the name we have given to our shop. We can simply uh, extend the heading and probably uh, merge and center, bold it, increase the size, a couple sizes, and maybe pick a color to go with it. We can also give a light background color. So that's it. Once this is done, then here we are going to pick the total inventory for the let's say we want to look the total inventory for a mouse so i simply type here mouse and then we will look at the total for mouse and in here we will write a simple formula sum if we only want to sum the quantity if the product is a mouse so pretty easy we will first have to choose whether is this a mouse or not and since we have created the range names as you can see once we select all it automatically becomes product so the product is chosen here and the criteria is it needs to be mouse and then we can sum the quantity field. Press enter by closing the bracket and we have 465 mouse. That's the total quantity of mouse. Maybe I change it to quantity. Next, let us find out how many stores carry the mouse. So we can say number of locations and here we are going to do a count but only if they carry mouse so we are going to do a count if open bracket and we only need to count the product so i press ctrl shift down we press the comma product comma and then we need to uh, make sure that it is a mouse Notice here the mouse is uh, starting with a small m, but we only sell mouse with the capital M. But it does not matter 
the sum if count if functions are case insensitive. That means whether you provide uppercase, lowercase or some kind of mixed case, it will still work as long as the formula is correct, as long as the spelling is correct. Uppercase and lowercase don't matter. Close the bracket, press enter. There are five locations that carry the mouse. We can also find out the average quantity of mouse in each store. And for this, we will use the average if function. Average if, and it's the same method. We will first refer to the product. The product need to be a mouse, and then we need to average the quantity. Close the bracket, press enter, and we have on average 93 mouse in each city. That's fantastic. Let's find out what's the minimum quantity in any store. Minimum quantity of mouse. And for this, we will use the function called min if. So min ifs will return the minimum quantity of mouse in any store. Which store uh, is having the, lo the lowest inventory, that inventory will get counted. So it's the same way. So we take the quantity if the product is a mouse and close it. So the minimum inventory in one of the stores is 20. Well, that's quite low. So uh, we need to investigate further. And what's the highest inventory? For this, we can find the maximum quantity of mouse. And we will use the similar function like min ifs called max ifs. Max ifs, again, quantity if the product is a mouse. Close the bracket, enter, and the largest mouse you can see it's in London is 218 mouse in this. So in a few minutes, we can easily analyze this data. But what if the customer now decides to change the mouse and want to look at the keyboard? Well, the thing is, you will have to modify all these formulas and change the word mouse to keyboard. And then now we have the keyboard. But actually, this is a very time consuming process. And if you make a spelling mistake, so for example, keyboard, it's, uh, we got it. But in case of the average if, instead of mouse, if I type keyboard, as you can see, there is a spelling here, mistake. And now we get a strange error. So you may be wondering what happened here. And that's because the spelling mistake. So actually, we don't want to be changing formulas often. What we want is we just specify which product are we looking at and the formulas should change automatically, dynamically. So for that, we can easily do that rather than fixing like this. We can ask them which product would you like to search like search or maybe we can say choose a product here and when somebody chooses the product here then uh, we will have to use this cell so this is the one this product which we want to find so we can give it a name called to find enter so we have created a range name for this cell and now instead of typing the word keyboard we simply point to the cell and it comes up with the name to find. I'm going to do the same thing for all of them. Just take note, don't type the uh, cell to find in quotation marks because we don't sell a product called to find. This way, we don't have to change it multiple times, just the, this once and all the formulas would change whenever the customer picks a different product on the top. So this is almost done. I'm finishing the last formula now. And we choose the to find. Now the formula is dynamic. And when I change it to keyboard, you can see all of them change. How good is that? Let's make it look better. So for example, let me fold them the inventory also in bold they choose a product and we highlight it to them 
that they need to choose it in this cell and whenever they choose something uh, the answers will come up here since we cannot have uh, inventory in decimals even on average let me do a round on this round this function to zero decimal places so it will be rounded up or rounded down this looks way much better the only problem now is our formulas are still referring to the word mouse and this can mislead somebody so let's fix this i'm going to convert this into a formula as well we are going to use the concatenate function otherwise you can use the simplest ampersand instead of uh, typing the word we can say total quantity for to find and it automatically changes to keyboard number of locations average quantity so again we can change it to a formula by simply writing a average quantity of take note that i am leaving a space after the off so that the words are not joined together and there is a bit of breathing space left so this makes the formula easy to read and this way we are just combining the different cells and done okay as you can see if you don't leave the space which is in our case we have a mistake here once this is fixed and it's looking way much better and the last one we remove the mouse and to find we missed the opening quotation mark and click enter and now the thing is when you choose a USB stick everything changes including all the headings change how cool is that So we can put a nice uh, border around it and maybe I'll leave a blank row on the top here just so that it looks a bit better. We've added an uh, entire row on top and now we have this mini dashboard kind of uh, ready. So maybe I'll put a border around it and in this we could um, just simplify this and so the benefit of this is even if the data is uh, large because of the range names we can easily um, you know expand the data and we don't have to be changing the formulas at any time the one thing that we can do to make it better uh, you can see here guys if I type USB all the formulas start to give an error and our customer may think we are not very good at writing the formulas that our method does not work when actually it's the customer's fault because they did not type the correct spelling so what we can do is we can simplify this by creating a drop down here instead of keying a wrong value you can only choose the correct value from here for that I'm going to take all the products from here because there are some duplicates here. As you can see, the same word appears multiple times. So I'll simply copy this data. Um, maybe I'll take it somewhere else and do a paste. And then we can um, remove the duplicates first by going to data and then click on the remove duplicates button. By clicking OK, the data is uh, cleaned up the duplicates are gone i will also add value by sorting this list a to z and now we can easily create a simple uh, named range for this called our unique parts so by having this name we can now refer this name in our uh, find cell here so i'm going to add a drop down list for this we go to data data validation under the data tools and here uh, as you can see uh, the error happens because it says allow any value we are going to choose the list from here because any value can lead to errors so the source will be the unique parse list notice i am not typing anything we simply go down and point 
to our list and that's it the correct name is showing up here we click ok and done now we have a drop down here and when we choose hard drive we see only hard drives when we choose memory board there's only memory boards so this way we have a nice looking dashboard that can show up all kinds of products and it's pretty neat and clean and awesome plus if you you can't really make mistakes if you try to type usb and enter it picks up the usb stick as you can see but if you type something like a b c which does not exist of course it will catch you and say this value doesn't match so please choose something else retry and really it won't allow you to make any mistakes you really have to pick up something from the list so we can pick a usb now this is a searchable area so even if you don't know the full spelling you can just start to type here like m and only the m's are showing so we can simplify the list m o n and we choose the monitor this way guys you can see in just a few minutes we have created a simple dashboard for our customer and now the analysis can begin whenever the customer will choose the product they can see we have um, 713 monitors in six locations on average we have 119 monitors per location the lowest quantity somebody is having is 40 and the highest quantity is 400 so this is a quick and dirty basic analysis tool a simple mini dashboard i hope you liked it do come back and check out our other videos as well thanks for watching all the best Hey guys, Vinay from Excel Champ. Today, I want to show you how quickly you can make a mini dashboard to analyze your inventory. So here, you can choose any product. There is a drop down list here. And whenever we choose keyboard, you can immediately see the total quantity of keyboard, the number of locations, the average quantity, the minimum stock and the maximum stock in any location. Now, this dashboard only took me less than 10 minutes to create. I'm going to help you and see how to create this awesome data analysis tool which can help you to analyze your inventory and it only takes about 10-15 minutes at max. So let's get started and play with this awesome 